On last Saturday's Hobby CNC with Dave show, I did a live unboxing and assembly of the Jinmitsu 3020 Pro Max CNC router. I still wanted to do a little uh, wire maintenance here and uh, wire management, so I was using some of the loom stuff to uh, try to clean up, you know, tidy up the wires just a little bit. But uh, now I've got that done and I'm getting ready to try to uh, do some test runs on here. I've got just a little piece of uh, MDF. You can see I'm using the painter's blue tape and CA glue method uh, to hold that down. I hate those uh, metal clamps that they send with these things, so I just wanted to uh, hold it down, and it doesn't take much to hold it on here. I heard somebody on YouTube say that this thing is kind of like a 3018 on steroids and I couldn't agree more. But let me just tell you a few things about uh, this machine and some of the improvements they've made. The uh, Z height now is uh, 72 millimeters so it's a little higher than it was. This comes with a 300 watt spindle, uh, air cool spindle, it's got the little fan on top to keep it cool. The uh, X-axis guide rails and uh, bearing blocks, as you can see here in this picture, uh, make it really sturdy and smooth. And they are attached to a couple of pieces of 2040 extruded aluminum, which make up the uh, back of the gantry. There's no more uh, Bakelite material on a lot of the older machines. There would be some Bakelite material on the uprights. And on the uh, front piece there that you see uh, of the base but this is all uh, 10 millimeter machined aluminum for the uprights and in the front and the rear piece and you can see that that's attached to some real sturdy 40 by 40 uh, extruded aluminum even the base here has uh, a nice uh, 8 millimeter machine uh, table or a bed and it also has uh, you know drilled and tapped holes for hold downs if you want to use them and it has a nice grid installed here as you can see here in this picture the program that I'm running right now is just a uh, Jinmitsu logo program that came on the thumb drive that was included with the uh, router kit and I'm using one of the bits from the uh, pack of bits that was also included. That's the 20 degree uh, V bits. And it's just doing some very fine engraving and uh, did a really nice job. This machine also comes with some very nice uh, features. It includes a touch probe for setting the Z0, which uh, you saw me do earlier in this video. It also comes with a emergency stop button that uh, you can hit in case uh, you need to stop the machine suddenly. And it's on the right side upright. You can also purchase separately a laser module and run with this machine. You simply pull out the stock spindle and insert this little round uh, spacer that will uh, then allow you to put the laser module inside the uh, spindle mount. Also included with this kit is a offline controller shown here and this allows you to create your g-code on a offline computer somewhere else and then put it on a little mini SD card and there's a uh, mini SD card adapter that fits into this uh, offline controller and you can run this thing without having it connected to a computer. I'll be showing more about that in a future video. The program that I'm running now is just something I did real quick in uh, Vectric VCAR Pro. I took some of their clip art and running a little dish uh, 3D thing with some uh, dice in there and uh, I'm using a roughing pass with uh, 1 8 inch end mill right now 
and in just a minute I'll be switching over to a 1 8 inch ball nose bit. Here is a good look of me, a uh, good look at me using the uh, touch probe that comes with this kit. Uh, I'm using G Sender as my um, uh, controller software, so it uses uh, a probe script where it comes down and touches, goes back up a little bit, and then comes back down and touches again. So uh, makes it very accurate when setting the Z axis zero. While this program finishes up, let me just say that I think this little uh, Jinmitsu 3020 Pro Max is a great little machine, especially for somebody that's looking to get into the hobby without breaking the bank. Uh, you can learn everything you need to know about CNC uh, with just this little machine right here. And uh, I think it's a great bang for the buck. And uh, if you want to check one of these machines out or any other product from Saint Smart, be sure and uh, check out the link below. I do have a discount code. Uh, so if you shop uh, at the Saint Smart store, you can get uh, a good discount there. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and think about subscribing, and you'll be seeing some more content with these uh, little Saint Smart machines. And uh, until the next one. Thank you very much for watching.